Reddit, what is the dumbest question a customer or client has ever asked you at your job? I worked at Kinko's, and on three separate occasions different people angrily asked me why I returned their fax document to them. They thought that a fax machine was some kind of Willy Wonka thing that sent their original piece of paper to the recipient. A few years ago, far more recent than it should be, I had to send a document to the local council. They asked me to fax it. I asked if I could just scan and email it, and they said no, because we need the original. Vet tech. A lot of people think their dog's nipples are ticks. A lot. One man even pulled a, but he's a boy, on us. Oh man, I started to get worried you were gonna say he pulled one off. Library. Once I checked out several books to a woman and told her the return date. She looked at her friend, then back at me, and said, shocked, you mean I have to bring the books back? Customer, how much is this? Me, 50 cents, like the sticker says. Customer, and this one? Me, 1 dollar. All the items have labels on them with how much they cost. Customer, oh, is that what those mean? That's clever. Not the slightest bit of sarcasm in their voice. I pressed slightly and found they were genuinely unaware of price labels. You met a time traveler. I used to work in a call center for a large bank, and a customer phoned while he was in one of the branches and said the queue was too big, so he wanted me to help him. I asked what his query was, and he said the ATM was broke so he had to withdraw cash. I asked how I could possibly help him withdraw cash from the bank over the phone, and he said, why can't you just fax it to me? So apparently a lot of people out there think fax machines are the Star Trek transporter. I used to work as a bank teller. A lady came up to me and asked to withdraw money. I informed her that she couldn't withdraw money, because her account was overdrawn. She was immediately upset, so I had her account checked for fraud. She then explained that all those charges were hers, and she wasn't expecting any payments. She was spending money she knew she didn't have. She then asked me why we couldn't just give her more money. Renovating a major hospital when the owner changes their mind, again, and wants to change the plan after we've started construction, you guys can take care of that right, with no extra cost. Oh, and the end date won't change, will it? We sure as duck can't Steve, and it sure as duck will. Those changes are gonna cost another $100,000. And now we need to go buy completely different materials and figure out what the duck you're talking about. The schedule is duck now. This is why construction never ends on the first given end date. While towing his car to a dealership, so what do you do for a living? He was serious. He assumed I had another job because I didn't fit the Billy Bob persona he associated with tow truck drivers. Long time ago now. Got a call that a user's laptop was dead and wouldn't power on. I go and check it out. Press the button, no life. Plug it into the power, it starts charging. Press the button, it boots just fine. The user wasn't plugging the laptop into power because she thought we had wireless. Tried to diagnose someone's connection problem for 20 minutes, before I overheard splashing and kids. Asked where they were, and they were at a pool. They thought the office Wi-Fi extended to anywhere on the planet apparently. When I asked, for here or to go, I got a confused look followed by, what would you recommend? Definitely to go. Actually, I think I want it here. No. To go. But. Get out. I used to work at a grocery store deli. My co-worker for some reason got more stupid questions than anyone else. We'd swap stories every shift. But one went a little like this. Hi, what can I get you? The 8 piece chicken. How many pieces are in it? How, how many pieces are in the 8 piece chicken? Um. There are 8 pieces in the 8 piece chicken. Okay, I'll have that, please. To be fair, the lady was awfully polite, but how many pieces are in the 8 piece chicken, is still a stupid question. When my brother was 15 and working at Woolworth's supermarket, a woman asked him the quantities of paracetamol painkillers she could administer to her kids. He said, the only advice I can give you is to not take medical advice from a 15 year old. She just stormed off like he was rude. Being a good bloke he got me a job there too. 
I had this bogan come up and we had this lovely interaction. Ho, oh, you got Nemoro that purple shit? Me, I'm sorry? Ho, oh, slowly, you know, purple? Me, blank shocked stare. Ho, oh, oh you're ducking newsless. For my name. Not the question itself, but the reason why he asked. I was volunteering as cashier at a used bookstore, for the library, not my regular job, but I do it often. In comes this older fella who buys a big stack of books for like 10 bucks. He was really nice and chatty, though he didn't seem completely aware mentally. Not a big deal, I just had to explain sales tax and the book pricing a couple times before he seemed to get it. He pays by credit card, and I explain to him how to sign the touch screen for the payment to go through. This is where he asks for my name. I tell him. He takes the iPad and says he really appreciated my service and happily tells me he's going to sign my name for the card so they will know to send the money to me. Before I can say no wait, he submitted the signature. I can't see his receipt, but he keeps telling me I was great and to keep the change, so I can assume he was being legit. I honestly wouldn't call it dumb, just bizarre. Made me wonder if he's been signing cashier names the entire time he's had a credit card. Thank goodness the card companies never check those things. Thank goodness the card companies never check those things. I remember reading this story about this guy, maybe it was a reddit comment, about this guy who consistently signed his receipts with a doodle of a donk. The first time he decided to be a grown up and signed his actual name, the bank contacted him because they were concerned about possible fraud. Someone once asked me, why are you guys making it so difficult to find a car parking spot this time of year? It was Christmas time and I was a casual working in a tiny store in a huge shopping center. I didn't even know what to say. Can we open the curtains to make the screen brighter? While pointing at a projector and screen setup. She seriously thought that more light in the room would make everything brighter, as if the projection was some sort of moving painting. Not a question, but someone once effectively told me they were allergic to air. I used to work in an opticians where we'd carry out pressure tests, a few puffs on air onto the surface of your eye, where quite literally, the machine just blows your eye with, yup, air. Yeah. The customer was adamant she was allergic to it, couldn't have it done, and in fact accused me of not knowing what I was talking about. Do you guys sell ice here? No sir, sorry about that. Alright yeah got anything like ice? Um. What? I used to work in computer sales and repairs. Had a customer come up who was maybe 23 years old, saying she couldn't get her laptop to open something. So I take it, and open it and casually ask, what is it you can't get open? She looks at me shocked as I open the laptop screen and tells, I have been trying for hours to get it to open, how do you do that? I look at her, not knowing how to respond, and close it and open it again. She takes it, and walks out saying thank you. I took a long look at my computer I was working on, and decided that this was the moment that made me quit that job. Had a customer ask for a 100% lead crystal decanter. I had just explained to him what 20% lead crystal meant. No, you can't get 100% lead cause it wouldn't be crystal and also it'll kill you. I work in a bank, actually not even a bank. It's an advice center, so no cash or anything like that, not that anyone reads the signs on the way in. Had a pair of women come in, and one says that the other is visiting from France and needs to check how much is in her account and can I tell her. I ask if she's a customer of this bank, thinking maybe she's a student learning English and has set up an account because that's quite common, but no, she wanted me to tell her the balance in her French bank account. How do people go around having no idea what's going on? Whenever I answer the phone, I have to say, good morning slash afternoon, and then our hotel name. So many people interrupt me halfway through this to ask if they called the correct hotel, some even after I just said that. Working as a flight attendant, London to Miami in business class. Mom with one toddler and one approximately 5 year old boards, immediately spots me and asks, where is the crash? I'd like to clarify, my airline does not and has never offered child care on board. She was adamant we should, and continued to palm her children off on the crew for the rest of the flight. Luckily the kids were fairly quiet. 
work at a zoo, and one year they did a big TV advert to highlight Night Zoo, since we are open until 9pm during summer. At around noon a woman asked me where was the Night Zoo. I said here, but in 6 hours. Working in the back of an ambulance on a patient with a serious need of nitroglycerine to lower their blood pressure. So, before I give this medication to you, I need to triple check that you have not taken any ED drugs in the last 72 hours, like Viagra or Silas, rattles off all variations. If you have taken it and I give you this nitroglycerine, your blood pressure could drop dangerously low. Have you taken any of these meds? Oh no, never. Are you certain? Oh yes, of course I am. Runs through potential deadly side effects again. No, never. Okay, hold this pill under your tongue. Does generic Viagra count? Gah. Why do you do this? I get too many dumb questions to remember them all. Here's a dumb encounter that happened just yesterday. When sending confidential documentation, we would encrypt it and put a password on it. It's common practice to send the document and the password in two separate emails. I got a message from this guy saying he couldn't open the document I sent him. Me, did you use the password? Client, yes. It said there was an error. Me, what password did you use? Client, I just hit ok and it said that I had the wrong password. Me, wait, so did you type anything in? Client, well no. Me, could you use the password that we provided you? Client, I didn't think it would work. So I deleted the email. Me. This one was just 2 hours ago. One of my users came today with an iPad. When I asked what the problem was, she said that when she holds the power button and home button down for 10 seconds, it just shuts off and takes a minute to restart. That was her whole problem, that if she holds the power button, it turns off. She called it the ducking power button. I used to work at a fine jewelry kiosk in a mall. Our jewelry included items like gold bracelets and necklaces bonded with sterling silver, sterling silver rings with cubic zirconia gems, gold engagement rings with diamond chips clustered together, rather than one large diamond, etc. I had a lot of regulars, and this one woman would come in often and ask of every item she was interested in, is this real? I explained what bonded means, and how we don't sell diamond rings for $25 but that the rings were indeed certified sterling silver with synthetic gems. I gave her information like this over and over again, day after day, and she would follow up every explanation with, okay, but, is it real? Oh boy, I have a good one. While stationed in Italy in the Navy, a higher up, E7, in the IT department, came to us to ask why our ship's SATCOM, satellite communications, was offline. We told him it was a connectivity problem and it'd be up shortly. He then proceeded to ask why we can't just hardwire it via Ethernet. I work at an Italian restaurant, and this guy was looking at ordering a salad, and when I asked what dressing he wanted, he kept going back to the pasta sauces and asking, Sugo, that would be good on it, wouldn't it? I'll get that, and I tried to explain, so, those are for the pastas, you got the Mediterranean salad. And he responded, you're right, maybe carbonara, another source. I don't get what he wasn't understanding. He seemed like a normal smart dude, but he just couldn't comprehend the difference between the dressings and sauces. I work in pharma, and someone called yelling at me to stop selling her son weed. I think she took the definition drug company way too literally. I've worked part time at a video game store for the last two years. This story took place last summer. A soccer mom comes in her with her demon spawn, and gives me shit for not having that Sonic game available. Me, hello, welcome to, insert generic video gaming store name here. Lady, yeah hi, I want to buy the Sonic game. Me, I'm sorry ma'am, I'm not sure I understand you. Which Sonic game are you talking about? Lady, the one where you go fast. My child wants it and you will not disappoint him. Me, ma'am, we have Sonic Forces available to pre-order, but it hasn't released yet. If that's the game you're talking about, you can pre-order it now and receive it at release. Lady, my son wants it now. Look, I'll slip you a tenner if you get it for me, nobody has to know. Me, 
I'm sorry ma'am, but we don't have any copies of the game. And even if we did, I would not be allowed to break street date for the game. Once again, if your child wants the game, you can pre-order it now and you'll receive it on the day the game is scheduled for release. She then asked to speak to my manager, go figure, lol, and kept trying to get him to break street date for a game we didn't even have copies of. A full grown woman asked me how big our pizzas were. I stick out my fingers and eyeball about a foot and say, a foot, so this big. She pauses for a moment, and finally says, oh, lengthwise. Our pizzas are circular. So any point across is lengthwise. Maybe she didn't know our pizzas were circular, but it was pretty dumb. So I go back to tell the other co-worker what I just experienced. Right after I tell her the punchline, any point across is lengthwise. She stares at me with this confused look on her face. She smiles and finally says, Okay, name, not all of us are Mr. Engineer student over here. I just walked away. I didn't know how to handle it. I'm not a ducking genius for knowing about the geometry of a circle. I used to manage a store that held a charity drive supporting Toys for Tots, a USMC program. A customer asked if any of the money went to fund abortions. Seriously. Abortions. 